Measures of Central Tendency The mean income of an individual in a country ABC is 10000 and the median income per capita is 7000 What sense does this statement make to you What significance do these two numbers have with respect to the per capita income of that nation This module will tell us how we can represent a collection of data through the use of just two or three numbers like the mean, the median and the mode. These are known as measures of central tendency since these values lie in the middle of the data set. These numbers show us the basic characteristics of the set of information gathered. For representation purposes, it is always better to depict just two or three numbers rather than show the data of the whole population. Mean, also known as the arithmetic mean, is the most commonly used numerical measure to describe a data set. It is often called the average. For a set of observations denoted by x1, x2, x3 till xn, or xi where i is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on till n, the mean of the data set can be calculated as x bar which is the mean is equal to summation xi where i goes from 1 to n divided by n. For a data set which has frequency distribution with values x1, x2 and so on till xn having frequencies f1, f2, f3 and so on till fn respectively and the sum of all frequencies is equal to capital N, the mean is calculated as x bar is equal to summation fi into xi where i goes from 1 to n divided by summation fi where i goes from 1 to n which is also equal to capital N. It is one of the most reliable measures as it takes into account the whole set of data. It is however sensitive to the extreme values present in the data set. It is thus desirable to use mean when data is relatively consistent and does not vary too much. This is why it is not considered to be a resistant measure. Median Unlike the mean, median is a resistant measure of center because it does not get affected by the presence of extreme values. Median can be thought of as a value which divides the set of data into two equal halves when arranged in increasing or decreasing order. That is, 50% of the observations lie above the point and 50% below it. To find the median, we must arrange the observations in the ascending or the decreasing order and then a if number of observations is odd then the median is the middlemost value b if the number of observations is even then the median is the mean of the two middle numbers mode the third measure of center we talk about is the mode it is the value which has occurred the most number of times, that is, it has the highest frequency. A set of data can have no mode or more modes than one as well. It has very less application generally. For example, an insurance company may be interested in knowing which type of policy is used mostly by the policyholders. Quartiles. These are measures of location which divides the data set into four equal parts having 25% of the values in each. Q1 also known as the first quartile. It is that value that separates the bottom 25% from the top 75% values. Basically, 
25% of the values of the data set lie below this point. It is the n plus 1 by 4th observation when the set of observations are arranged in the increasing order, where n is the number of observations in the data set. Q2, also known as the second quartile. It is nothing but the median. 50% of the values lie below it and the rest 50% above it. Median is the n plus 1 by 2th value of the data set. Q3, which is the third quartile, separates the top 25% from the bottom 75% values. It is calculated as the value of 3 by 4 into n plus 1th observation when the data set is arranged in the increasing order. Q1 is always less than Q2, which is always less than Q3. Now that we understand the concepts of mean, median, mode and quartiles, let us go back to the statement at the beginning of the module. Now that statement makes much more sense. It is describing that the characteristics of the set of observations of individual incomes of citizens of the nation ABC through the use of mean and median. The figure of the mean tells us that on an average, an individual in ABC earns 10,000. However, as we know that the mean is not a resistant measure and the presence of extreme values would vary it drastically, the median would give us a better picture in this scenario. Since the median is 7,000, it indicates that the half of the population earns less than 7,000, which is lesser than the mean of the nation as well. It shows that there is inequality in distribution of wealth in the nation. A small portion of the nation gets the major chunk of the total income generated in country ABC.